Some new stories from Ethiopia and Eritrea. Firstly, athletics and cycling. Eritrean cyclists and Ethiopian athletes appeared on world stage today. They won competitions in Belgium, Rome, Spain. Secondly, uh, a general of Ethiopian National Defense Force visited Asmara. Capital of Eritrea. His pictures uh, have been shared, which indicate that he was in Asmara. How significant is this visit? While we are hearing rumors that uh, Ethiopian government forces have been seen moving towards Tigray borders. Uh, thirdly, viewers, uh, an Afar uh, group which is aligned with a Tigray Defense Force, backed by Tigray Defense Force, has released a statement about humanitarian truce announced by Ethiopian and Tigray governments. And lastly, viewers, we have a video clip for you. Last night, we reported about the movement of uh, uh, some government forces, Ethiopian government forces from uh, Dasi towards Kobo. Now we have a video clip and some pictures for you which confirm that uh, dozens of buses carrying government soldiers, ENDF soldiers uh, are on their way. They have arrived in areas close to Tigray border. Let's start with uh, some uh, news from uh, cycling and athletics. Uh, in cycling world, Beniam Girme is a new sensation. Views. Today he won Ghent Wavelgam uh, road cycling race in Belgium, in Flanders Field, uh, Belgium. 128 kilometer long. Uh, Cycling race was won by uh, uh, Beniam Germe. He's the first African to have won this uh, cycling uh, race there. And just three days ago, uh, he participated in another race where he came fifth. Now you see that after two, three days, now he is uh, competing uh, and he is winning this time. It's a huge achievement for Eritrean cycling, uh, uh, Eritrean cyclists. Uh, secondly, we know that uh, in Egypt, uh, African uh, cycling championship is underway. There, Hinok Molu Birhan, and other Eritrean cyclist, has won gold in 150.8 kilometer long road race, cycling race. Eritrea has won 15 medals there so far, 7 gold, 6 silver and 2 bronze medals have been won by Eritrea in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt where this African uh, cycling championship is underway. In athletics, Ethiopian athletes perform today tremendously well in Rome and in Spain. In Spain, uh, Mukhtar Idris won 10 kilometer long uh, race and in Rome, uh, Ethiopian athletes have won 4 medals today, 2 gold, 1 silver, 1 bronze. Uh, uh, Sechale de Lassa won gold in women marathon event. She came first and the athletes who came third and fourth were also Ethiopian athletes. And Fikre Bakele won gold as well in men's marathon. He came first and the athletes who came second and fourth they were also Ethiopian. So you, so you see that in Rome, Ethiopian athletes dominated the events. Uh, Ethiopian athletes, Eritrean cyclists, they were on world stage today. Uh, secondly, words, uh, now let's have a look at some political military developments, uh, some security related issues. Uh, firstly, ENDF uh, 
and an ENDF general has visited Eritrea. He is a deputy chief of staff. His name is General Ababio Tadasi. Uh, some pictures have been shared which confirm that he visited Asmara in recent days. Uh, we know that this general in some interviews spoke about second phase of uh, Tigray conflict. I read a video on that, I remember. He had said that first phase was over and second phase uh, uh, would start. Uh, so now he is visiting Eritrea. And Tigray, back news sources say that another phase of military offensive on Tigray is being planned. That is why a top ENDF general was in Eritrea, where Eritrean and Ethiopian generals planned a new military offensive on Tigray. We'll have to wait and see. Will a new military offensive on Tigray happen? Uh, Several analysts are saying that Ethiopian government is on the verge of attacking Tigray. Uh, will it happen? Uh, I uh, find it difficult to agree with these analysts. Because the Ethiopian government is not in a position to launch a major military offensive on Tigray. It will be devastating for Ethiopian economy. Ethiopia is already asking for money from international institutions from other countries. So far, it has not received any money. And uh, its uh, foreign exchange reserves has depleted to an alarmingly low level. How can Ethiopian economy sustain another prolonged offensive on Tigray? I find it difficult to agree with this analyst. Uh, thirdly, viewers, uh, an Afar opposition group has uh, shared a statement through Tigray TV because this group is backed by a Tigray Defense Force. Uh, it is based mainly in Tigray. It is armed there. Its fighters are trained there. Uh, Afar Federalist Force. This group has announced that it will abide by the ceasefire, the truce announced by Ethiopian government and uh, Tigray government uh, three days ago. The two governments announced military and truce, though so far we have not seen any delivery of aid uh, to Tigray. Uh, this group says that it has decided to cease all its activities in Afar. It will not carry out any military operations in Afar because a truce has been announced. Now, does it mean that TDF is also going to cease its military operations in Afar because TDF and this group both have been working in collaboration uh, in Afar reportedly? So, if this group decides to halt all its operations in Afar, what will TDF do? Will TDF stop its operations and withdraw? Will TDF stop its operations but it will keep its presence there in Afar? We have not seen any signs of withdrawal so far. Uh, but this group has announced to cease all military operations in Afar. It could be a step towards withdrawal of some Tigray forces from Afar back into Tigray. Lastly, viewers, a video clip for you. The video clip shows uh, uh, buses carrying uh, ENDF members. Last night, some uh, Tigray activists reported about the movement of uh, uh, more than 200 buses carrying ENDF troops from Dasi towards Kobo, towards Tigray Amhara border. The movement was confirmed by some. Uh, local sources. Now, videos, pictures are being shared uh, as evidence that uh, large number of buses carrying uh, ENDF tops are on their way. They have arrived close to Tigray Amhara border in southern, close to southern part of Tigray. Of, of course, deployment is still in Amhara region. 
The forces have not entered Tigray, but they are moving uh, towards Kobo, close to Kobo. Again, uh, maybe I'll have to reconsider my opinion in coming days, but so far, uh, it's difficult for me to uh, agree with this analysis that a large scale military operation against Tigray is in the making. It could happen in coming days. Let's see. We'll have to wait a little. Watch this small clip showing uh, uh, a convoy of buses carrying ENDF troops. The troops are reportedly heading towards Kobo and some say towards Afar as well. Thank you for watching.